I'm always thinking about what's it gonna look like? Because you really can't tell in the raw data. You can get a sense of some of the things that are gonna come out in the pictures, but ultimately each picture tells a story. And in astronomy, those stories might deal with, you know, how stars are being born, maybe the collision of galaxies, and you can see the, the tails of stars that uh, are linking them together. What's there to be seen? It's kind of like being able to, to take in fully uh, everything that the telescope and camera were revealing to you. We can't unfortunately do it with our eyes, so the story is told through that acquisition and later processing at a computer. And I don't know what I'm going to get, especially if it's an object that I've never taken a picture of before. I think one of the first memories that I have of seeing something through the telescope was a, a bright star cluster in the sky, the Pleiades. I remember specifically being able to see them. They, they were so bright in the telescope that it's just remarkable. When you look with your eye, they don't seem to scintillate in quite the same way. But boy, in the telescope, it's just incredible, just filling the field of view, all of those diamonds. And I remember the smell of the telescope and what the the sky uh, was overhead, it was in the deep twilight of a, of a spring night. And so I just remember being able to see that cluster uh, setting in the west and uh, probably one of the first things I remember doing. My first telescope was given to me by my parents when I was seven years old. I recently took out the picture of what that looked like. I have a picture of myself with this first telescope. And the funny thing is that if you look on the box of the telescope, it actually reads, a hobby today, a profession tomorrow. I have lived with it, looking at the night sky and taking pictures of it for my entire life. So for me, it's not so much that it takes me back, it's just a, a continuation of what I've always loved to do. That memory that I have during childhood of somehow seeing the sky is intimately connected with me today. And I, the time, it's a timeless thing for me.